Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the floor. Yes, we are not at the bench, which is behind me this way. We're on the floor because I'm just going to cut this open. Then we'll put this on the bench. And uh, then we can welcome you to the bench. But this is the Ergo. Uh, Ergo-Europe.com. TimberTech is the name it goes by. I'm guessing this is the distributor or the main company. But uh, this is the lowest price, priced price air compressor for your airbrush with a tank on Amazon currently sitting at eighty three ninety nine a bargain if it's a good unit and that's what we're going to find out but uh, let's get this cut open and get to the bench so we can look at it a little closer you can see my new Optimus Prime kit in the background here this thing is fantastic anyway let's cut her open tricky to do one-handed while behind the camera here. There we go. All right. Got it. All right. All right, let's see what we got. Not a lot of thrills here, uh, obviously. Oh. Ah, here's our manual. Yep. I think we know what we're doing there as far as a manual goes. It seems a little loosely packed. Um, as you know, someone is going to end up with this baby, and I think I'm going to pack it in here with an airbrush, and let's see if it's all going to fit while well, I got it down. Yeah, it'll all fit in one. I'll pack it nice, and I'll wrap it up like this, and uh, it should make its journey okay wherever it ends up, and whoever gets this one, I'm carefully staying away from certain words so nobody gets tortured by fake messages. All right, let's get this off. Good, good weight to it. All right, I'll show you why this is the latest model. We'll head over to the bench. And, uh, yeah, let me pause this and we'll flip around. All right, we have spun around. Now we are at the bench. And uh, here it is. And oh, here's our quick release for the air out of the tank. And uh, this is an updated model. And that means it's got a cooling fan. Right behind here is a cooling fan. Uh, so it can run it longer and uh, keeps it cool. I still recommend you know shutting these things down every half hour. Let them cool off like five minutes and start it back up. Uh, it's got the pressure gauge right here. It's got the water trap here, moisture trap. It's a three prong, yep. Here is our power button. It's got a nice fold out handle. It looks kind of like my Tootie from uh, Spray Gunner. No name brand. Here it is on the other side. Here's the Timber Tech name. And uh, 0.15 kilowatts. Right. Here's the weight 11 and a half pounds. Yep, 11 and a half pounds. All right. Yeah, so this is an updated version. Um, the fan, I guess the older version doesn't have one. I have an old one in the other room. When I did the, the waterfall spray booth test, I took my old one out of my closet here and, and it. You know what? The damn thing fired up and worked perfect. <laughs> so, uh, you got longevity here, man. I've had that other one for quite a while, and it just started right up. It's like this. I don't think it's got the cooling fan, but it, it has the same appearance. The switch is a little different, too. Um, but still has the uh, moisture release. I mean, the air pressure release. And, um, yeah, really good. Um, it's built good. I mean, they're all built pretty good. Probably all made in the same place, probably. And we got the pull-up. Yep, pull-up and adjusting. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to test the decibel level on it. We'll compare it to uh, the Fortress decibels, and we'll compare it to the uh, 2D uh, decibels. I have a decibel meter on the phone here, so that's what we're going to do. And we're just going to try and spray a couple things with it. We're going to try my uh, GSI Creos 290, my PS290. This pushes a lot of paint, so I figure we'll take some primer. We'll see how it pushes the primer, how often it has to come on. And uh, we'll spray a, a car body with the primer quick and see how that goes. And then we'll see how it does with fine uh, fine lines. So we'll use my uh, my badge of Sodar 2020 and we'll go, uh, we'll use the old gloss black base. We'll see how it sprays some nice fine lines. And uh, that's all. We just want to see how it, how it runs and uh, how quiet it is. And I know long, lengthwise, as far as uh, how long these things last, um, 
based on the one I have years ago from Amazon, the damn thing is still running. And uh, so, yeah, I, I, I think longevity is not a problem with these. Here's the moisture release on the bottom. And you do want to check your moisture once a week. Unscrew that. Um, uh, yeah, I use I um, I airbrush all the time. Obviously, you guys see the channel, so uh, I'll go every few days and check the moisture. Not a lot of moisture where I am right now. Uh, we're in the winter days here, but you still always should check. Anyway, um, yeah, let's head over and let's see what the decibel level is on the other two, and then we'll hook this one up and check the decibels, and then we'll see how it performs. So let me meet you over here at my other air compressors, and let's run a test using a decibel meter. All right, guys, here we are in the corner of my room. Up right here is my spray booth. And uh, under my feet is my 2D and uh, my Fortress. So uh, here is the app I use, Sound Meter. So let's go ahead and hit that. Now that fan is running on my booth right there. So let's see if it changes anything with this. There we go. So we're at Whisper. Obviously, when I talk, it goes way up. Busy traffic. Am I that loud? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. Mosquito. Anyway, uh, it tells you, you know, it's telling you what it sounds like, uh, what you can compare it to. But let's go ahead and put on the 2D. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the meter up here because this is where I sit. I'm up here, so it's down here. So we're going to compare the level from up here. Ready? Here we go. So 55, 56, obviously it's jumping because I'm talking, but that's pretty good. That, that That's really quiet. Comparing it to a quiet office. All right, well, there you go. Quiet office, that's pretty quiet. I mean, this is a really quiet compressor. Now, the Fortress is going to be a bit louder, and it's a bit more industrial. I mean, I'm going to use it to power my my uh, baby spray gun here from Iwata. That review is coming up. It's because of this one I'm able to use that spray spray gun. Anyway, here we go. Let's flick on the switch on this one. Now, this one gets louder as it builds up, so let's let this thing reach full pressure. Let's see what we get. There we go. And now we can use this. <laughs> That's what's hooked up to it right now. Yeah, so that wasn't bad. 65, it still wasn't bad. Still pretty quiet. Let's turn it off. All right. So let me uh, turn off this. Let me hook up the new one from Amazon here, the TimberTech, and we'll see how it compares. Okay, guys, before we go any further, I'm going to flash this a couple of times. See, this way I printed it, so if they're using an algorithm where they look for people saying the word in the video and then they start haunting you guys with spam, um, no, I'm going to go this route. Whoever watches this, I'm not going to have it in the headlines or anything. I might put it on a social media somewhere and experiment if that does anything, but uh, yeah. Anyway, someone's uh, going to get this baby and the airbrush. Anyway, what I did was I took a hose, hooked it up, and uh, put on the moisture trap again because uh, I use, use them as a handle. Even though I have one down there, you don't really need it. But I put the quick release here so we can hold the air pressure in it. And we probably have to adjust where it's going to head. But we want to see the decibel level. So let's do it. Let's go again. Wow, guys, I mean, I'm going to talk, it's going to go up, but that's even quieter than the Tootie.
There it goes. It climbed a little bit. Same exact sound level. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, really good. Really good. Quiet. Very, uh, very quiet. And, um, so, it passes that test. It's as quiet as the other two. A little quieter when it first started up than the Tootie. But, uh, it's absolutely not any louder, that's for sure. So I'm going to put this out of the way. We'll hook up a brush here. And, um, yeah, we're going to give it a test. And, uh, then we'll wrap it up. All right, let me get the camera set up in the booth here. And I'll show you where the booth is. Obviously, you can see it right there at the bottom. So yeah, there's the booth right there. So I'm going to have to uh, put this camera into the booth mount, and let's test this out. All right, guys, here we are at the booth. We're going to spray this Supra um, with, with uh, primer. We're going to use this brand, AK Interactive Primer and Micro Filler. I really do like this primer. Straight out of the jar into the airbrush. The um, reason why I, I got this Supra is because it's damaged. And uh, I even tried to fix it. It just it couldn't be fixed. So I uh, ended up getting it for nothing. So we'll use it here as a test bed. Look at that. Oh, what a waste. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's see what we get. I got it set for 22 PSI. Ooh, looks like it works good. Let's give it a shot. Kind of zoom out, huh? There we go. I can hold this in my hand too. Don't really have to do the whole thing. I just want to see how it goes with the airbrush and how long it takes to uh, refill. So far, it hasn't kicked in yet. And this pushes a lot of paint and a lot of air. This airbrush. That's why I'm testing it with this uh, PS290. A great airbrush got a fan cap. See the fan cap? Oh, it just kicked in. Wow, I like it. It is quiet though, guys. I guess I can use this uh, Supra for testing some other paints, I guess, once I get the primer on it. I have to get a lot of cheap kits, because uh, all I do is test here. You guys know that. Then I guess, you, you know, if you get any rough spots, you sand it down. Put another quick layer on but we just want to see how it performed with the airbrush that's it it's done and it only kicked in once um i believe my other ones kick in way more often than that particularly with this airbrush wow all right so let me clean this out and uh put this aside to dry and then we'll uh we'll try it with fine lines we're going to try it with the sodar spray some fine lines and uh see how often it kicks in with that one and then we'll wrap this up Okay, guys, I want to show you something. Here's where the meter is for the uh, the Sotar. Hold on. We're going to use this next. The Sotar 2020. And uh, I like to, you know, dial it down air pressure-wise because we're going to be doing some fine lines. So here it is. Right? What about 15, 16? So watch this when I press the airbrush in. It's going to fluctuate. Watch. That's good, man. That's not fluctuating a lot at all. It's only going down like a pound or two of pressure. So that is outstanding. All right, let me put you guys back up here. Hold on, guys. Guys, it'll make you all dizzy and queasy there. Man. All right, here we go. We got it loaded up with uh, gloss black base from Allclad. We just want to see how it's going to work with some fine lines. Here's a piece of plastic. First of all, let's see how it's going to push it out. All right, here it is. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get some fine lines out of this. All right, trying to get uh, 
everything just right. Once you get into a zone with this airbrush, then you know just where you, you stand. And you can adjust it too. You can have the stopper stop it from uh, going too far back. You can actually get the line just where you want it. <clears throat> there we go. As fine as it gets right there. Yeah, so once you get it in. Yeah, so anyway, it looks like uh, I'm trying, to, trying to use aerial. I'm trying to see how long it takes before it kicks in. It kicked in because I was cleaning it too when I was cleaning out the other airbrush. Um, it kicked in once doing that. So it's just trying to keep up, you know. Let's see if we can get a nice uh, wide line with this. Why not? Let's give it a shot. Gloss black base. There we go. Load it up. This is great. This is a great base paint, I'll tell you. Look at that. It goes on good every time. Yeah, anyway. Yep, so it works. It works great so far. She works great. Um, let me clean out the sodar and we'll uh, wrap this up back at the bench. All right, guys. We're back at the bench. Here she sits. I cleared it out. That's a little loud and obnoxious, so you pull this. Let all the air out of the tank. You should let it let the air out of your tank every night um, don't want that pressure building up and then slowly breaking down the unit you just uh, let the air out it takes about five seconds and uh, maybe once a week drain here and check for water but uh, where I live and maybe where you live there's probably not much water it just depends I think on your geographical location we will say but yeah it did great we primed the car using uh, the big 0.5 millimeter needle hair of the PS290 and we did some fine lines with the SOTAR and uh, it performed great we just wanted to see how it would work now this has the fan just like my 2D does so the um, it's gonna run pretty cool you're probably gonna get a good 35 40 minutes maybe even an hour I sometimes I'll go with the uh, the 2D and uh, I'll spray in spurts so it's not constantly running um, it depends on your situation but uh, with this fan here, it's going to run pretty good. But like I said, I would give it a rest every 30, 40 minutes. And by, by a rest, I mean uh, two minutes. Just turn it off. It cools off really fast. And you get right back in. Really quality stuff. Fantastic. I mean, I see nothing wrong with this. It's the same as my other ones. Um, this is not the, the item you should worry about when going into, say, buying an airbrush. I would say the airbrush is, is more important. Uh, seeing as this thing performs as good as the brand names. Um, yeah, so uh, someone will uh, will end up with it. Like I said, we're going to try this experiment by not saying the word anywhere, in print or otherwise. So you guys know what to do. Uh, make sure you like the video. Leave a comment, because you have to leave a comment, because that's how we're going to find the winner. Now, I will uh, reply to you. My name is Robert. It's my first name, and I will reply to you. And uh, any of those bots are going to tell you to contact them and use another app. It's not. I'm going to reply to you in the comment like they are, but I'm going to tell you to reply to me to my email, which is in the description. Oh, this way, which is in the description here. And then uh, we'll go from there. I'll verify it's you, and then we'll go from there. I'm not going to make you go anywhere else. Just my personal email. You're not going to go anywhere else. You're not going to get. I don't want any money from you. Nothing. I'll handle all the rest. All right. So we're going to throw in a uh, a brand new airbrush with it. This Sparmax, which I think is a fantastic airbrush, and it's a 0.3 millimeter nozzle, big cup, fantastic. I didn't want to use it for the video because I want to keep it as clean as possible. So there you go. Some lucky winner. Now. If you don't need one, if you guys are all set up and you're just watching the video for the review side of things, uh, let me know. If you want to leave a comment and if you don't need it, let me know. And uh, if you're just starting out and you could use it, uh, I, here you are with a full setup and uh, you'll be good to go. So, yeah, it's a thumbs up. I do like uh, this quite a bit. It's a great combo. Now, think about it. This is uh, 70 bucks. and this is 83 You are in cheap, man. A buck 50 or so. And you're in. You're airbrushing. You're in the world of airbrushing at very low cost, at quality stuff. We're not talking uh, a cheesy airbrush. So, speaking of airbrushes, if you guys are going to get this or if you need an airbrush, this is uh, currently still sitting at about 85 bucks. 
I, I don't know how they're doing it. This is an awesome. I bought one as a backup, so what I'm going to do is use my other one with the point two, and I'm going to leave the point three in this, or vice versa, whatever. This is the point three. My other one's a point two, but I upgraded it. But I'm going to go back and leaving the two. And uh, you can't beat this airbrush for any time. Under 200 bucks, really, this airbrush can't be beat. At 85, it's an absolute steal. I mean, I'm talking probably by two of them. And they have the other one, too. They have the point two. You can buy one of each and have them separated like I'm going to have. Uh, I'll put the link below for this. This is a must-own airbrush, fully adjusted in the back, MAC valve, phenomenal airbrush, phenomenal airbrush. I believe it's made in the same factories as Iwata. A lot of the parts are actually interchangeable. Um, I like this better than Iwata, but that's just me. Uh, I started on this airbrush, and I absolutely love this airbrush. Um, but anyway, I'll put the link below for this because they are still selling at this incredible price. Even at 100 it's an incredible price for this airbrush. And... Um, but yeah, this is your combination package that you will be uh, getting, whoever the lucky person is. I'm going to figure on Tuesday when I put up another video. Um, that's when I'll uh, contact somebody, maybe uh, Monday night, so I can have you ready and announce you in the video. We'll make the announcement in the video, uh, who ended up with it. And uh, there you go. That's it. I don't know if I'm going to put up a video tomorrow or wait for Tuesday, but the next video is going to be uh, working with these uh, Mika powders. Or Mika, I don't know how you say it. Look at that. And this just came in. I was waiting for this. Look at this. True metallic sterling lining. And uh, supposedly this comes out with a nice shine to it. So we're going to test that. Just so you guys know, here's a little sneak peek. I took the red powder, mixed it in with some clear, and look what we got here. So uh, really good results for uh, just getting a box with all different colors. And one bottle of clear, you're going to have a whole lineup of colors. And uh, so that's going to come up. Very soon, it could be the next video, and I'm going to show you guys how it's done. It's quite easy and uh, an enjoyable process, too. Anyway, thanks so much, guys. Don't forget, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Tons of reviews to go. Um, this, of course, I'll hold it up again, is part of this. And uh, also, for joining my Patreon, I will answer your questions directly, whether in video form or if you guys want to ask me questions directly. Uh, it's very cheap, it's only four bucks a month. I'll put the link on top here for. Uh, joining my Patreon. Um, thank you to all my fellow Patreons. I'm working on getting your names in the credits at the end of these videos. That's coming up very soon. You guys are terrific. Uh, you're really helping the channel out by letting me uh, purchase stuff like this for testing. It's all purchased on my own. I mean, I have a bunch of paints coming in. I have Gaia paints coming in. I have uh, the whole Born paints I can get, every one I could in the States. Um, that was over 300 I mean, I, all my own money goes into the channel. And... Uh, it's all to test all this stuff out so you guys don't have to waste your money on this stuff. And, uh, and that's all. Anyway, guys, uh, have a great rest of your weekend. God bless everybody. Thank you so much for joining. You guys have been great. Uh, good luck. Good luck to whoever ends up with it. Um, I'll probably contact you. Say Monday I'll look for a winner. And Tuesday's video I will hold up uh, their name on screen. And uh, that's when... Uh, We'll make the announcement. Anyway, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.